my paper title is called The Dysregulation of the Circadian Rhythm and Its Effect on Alzheimer's Disease. My mentor's name was Shanae Morton, and my name is Leo Wong. I will begin with a short summary of my paper. Sleep is a very fundamental physiological behavior, and it is primarily controlled by the circadian clock, which regulates uh, the body so it can tell whether it is time to sleep, whether it's day, whether it's night, etc. So dysregulations of this rhythm can significantly contribute towards the onset of many neurodegenerative diseases, which includes Alzheimer's disease. However, the dysregulation of this clock, how it contrib contributes to Alzheimer's disease is still unknown. So in the paper that I wrote, we comprehensively reviewed literature to see how dysregulation of the circadian rhythm contributes towards the onset of Alzheimer's disease. So I began with investigating the relationship between circadian rhythms and st sleep deprivation. Uh, I, and then after that, I investigated the primary uh, proteins that uh, contributed towards the onset of Alzheimer's disease. Um, and then lastly, we, I investigated the dysregulation of the circadian genes in Alzheimer's disease which plays a significant role in the onset of other neurodegenerative diseases as well. So let me begin with what proteins uh, affect the onset of Alzheimer's disease. So extensive research has found that uh, amyloid beta and tau proteins are priv pivotal components towards the onset of Alzheimer's disease. Um, if the circadian, uh, linking this back to the circadian rhythm, if the circadian rhythm were to be dysregulated, the accumulation of these proteins would also occur. This sleep deprivation is what causes these proteins to build up. Another uh, important role of like the circadian rhythm dysregulation is chronic sleep deprivation. So this chronic sleep deprivation has profound negative consequences on the brain, and this will also lead to eventual protein buildup. Because the amyloid beta and the tall protein follow a cyclic pattern, there are high levels during while you're awake and low levels during rest. So if there is a disrupted circadian rhythm in chronic sleep deprivation, this affects this rhythm, which leads to eventual amyloid beta and tau accumulation. So after all this, we found that disruptions in the circadian rhythm have emerged as significant contributors towards various health issues, including Alzheimer's disease. Because sleep disturbance is quite common in Alzheimer's disease patients, I decided that, or I found that having a better sleep schedule and not sleeping too late will be able to uh, reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease. My last uh, section of this paper were, was discussing the circadian genes in Alzheimer's disease. So chronic sleep deprivation also affects circadian genes within the human body. For example, the APOE4 and the APOE2 genes play prominent roles in the Alzheimer's disease pathology. APOE4 amplifies Alzheimer's disease risk and accelerates onset, while APOE2 demonstrates the protective effects. Both of these genes do affect the amyloid beta protein, with APOE4 increasing amyloid beta and APOE2 clearing it out. APOE4, this gene, negative impact towards a amyloid beta contributes to the plaque formation, which is a significant contributor to Alzheimer's disease. APOE2, on the other hand, it tries to clear out these plaque accumulations. So it is basically a on cycle of these genes clearing and forming these amyloid beta 
uh, plaques. Yeah. So in conclusion, I determined that the balance between the circadian rhythm and the sleep-wake cycle are fundamental towards uh, preventing the onset of Alzheimer's disease. Uh, this is just a very, very simple uh, review paper on it, but new techniques can be used to study sleep disruptions, circadian rhythm dysregulations, and the onset of other neurodegenerative diseases, diseases such as Alzheimer's disease, but this could also include many, many other diseases. This could also be a factor of finding a cure for Alzheimer's disease. So this is basically, this is my paper and uh, I finished with, by saying that uh, this review paper can be crucial towards uh, curing the neurodegenerative disease that has been plaguing humans for centuries, Alzheimer's disease.